Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. Going to take a look at the Aussie versus US dollar. Today's date is May 1st, 2024. Let's get started. With the risk of uh, repeating myself, the FOMC rate decision will take place at 2 p.m. ET with the Fed chair speaking at 2.30. And uh, what he has to say, what the Fed does say in their statement, will have a big impact on uh, which way the US dollar goes. We are seeing uh, a dollar decline in trading here today. The Aussie versus US dollar is moving to the upside. The dollar is moving to the downside. And in the process, the price is moving back toward some neutral levels, including the 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart, the 200 hour moving average, it's a green line in the chart, and also the 50% retracement level. This area right here is going to be my barometer for more bullish and more bearish in tra trading here, to here today. If the price were to uh, get above the 50% retracement level or, or push above that level, then I would expect uh, further upside momentum. If the price stays below this level, this area right through here, I would expect that the downside to be the path of least resistance for the pair. So uh, we sit sort of on that edge right now with the price currently trading right around the moving averages, right near the low of this of this little swing area around the 65 level, 0 0.6500 level. Be aware, be prepared. Now, on further upside momentum, uh, the next uh, key target to get to and through that would give traders more confidence of that move to the upside would be getting above the uh, 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart and the 100 uh, our moving average those levels come between 17 and 22 and move above those levels and i think it opens up the door and we could even move up back toward over time given a more uh, less hawkish fed for instance uh, we could move back toward the 100 day moving average uh, it wasn't just monday that the price was up testing and actually breaking above that 100 day moving average briefly albeit before rotating to the downside and ultimately breaking below this uh, swing area right through here on on yesterday's trade leading to the sharp move move lower in trading here today so that would be the up uh, uh that would be the path toward that moving average now if the uh the fed is more hawkish and we see a rotation back to the downside uh we'd look down toward this uh, 0 0.6465 level as the next uh, level of uh of to get to and through similar to what we saw up the, these moving averages up here why that level well if you look back in time and you take a look at this uh, corrective high right here the market uh, peaked right there and then rotated to the downside and then broke above that level moving to our high it, was, it wasn't uh, but earlier today that the price came back down to this level and bang 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 against that old high but could not get below that level so get back below that level would increase the bearish bias and have traders looking uh, for lower levels of in this pair including this uh, swing area down through here down through 0 0.6442 and then below that level opens the door for selling pressure that you know who knows could lead that back down toward the april 18th or 19th or thereabouts uh, low at uh, 0 0.6361 with the current uh, price trading at 0 0.6493 it's only about 130 pips it would take it would take some time to get to there but uh that that type of price action move that type of uh, fed backing uh, for a lower US dollar certainly a possibility for this currency bear just taking a quick look at the daily chart of the Aussie versus US dollar this is our low price from the month of April and that low price came within a swing area down through here so you can see the importance of that level going going forward be aware be prepared so that's uh, my technical look at the Aussie versus US dollar heading into the FOMC rate decision my name is Greg McCloskey good fortune with your trading bye bye now